Hi, this is Larry. I would like to talk to you today about variables. Variables is a term that we use for what the data is inside it. It's a storage location that we use for data that's used within an application. Software basically needs some place to put data to be processed while it's in the programming language. And that's what we call variables. So basically data comes in from some place to be utilized by the chip or the computer. Basically it's going to come in from user input files, databases, systems, other devices, etc. There's a lot of different ways data can come in and be utilized by an application. So let's assume it comes in, well we have to actually give it a place to put in memory and to store it and to be able to use it temporarily while the application processes on it. That's what we call a variable. Data comes in, we give it a name, and we give it a data type and call it a, it's a variable. Then the application can utilize that uh, variable for different purposes once the data's come in, and then we can create new variables that the application creates uh, their own variables for utilizing, and then at some point data goes out. So therefore we take data from a variable and go out somewhere, output to the user directly on a screen, maybe it gets printed out, files, database, systems, etc. So just keep in mind that data's got to come in someplace and we have to use it within our application. And that's what we call a variable for. And at some point, we have to print something out, and we'll take data from a variable and print it out. When we do this, we declare a data type. We also need to, uh, excuse me, when we declare a variable, we also have to give it a data type, meaning that we have to uh, be able to type it so that it's in the right type of classification to be utilized appropriately. For example, you can understand that there are things that are just numeric, that can be added and subtracted, etc. And there are things that will be alphanumeric or a lot of times just used for text processing. And that's what those are. And each data type in C-sharp is a class with its own properties and methods. So when you declare a variable, you must also declare the variable and give it a name, but give it a name of that class, meaning that you're creating an instance of that, uh, or instance of that object of that class, okay? and you're gonna give it a name. For instance, we may have one single character. We would use a char. If we're gonna use a group of characters all or words together, we would use a string. If we wanted to use uh, integers, a whole number, we use integers. If we wanted to use anything with decimals, we'll probably use a double or a float to, incor to incorporate numerics with decimals. So what it helps us to do, uh, it helps us data type and helps us to protect the data and it also helps us to facilitate ease of manipulation so that we protect the data, we utilize it in the correct way. So let's take now a look at how this can work inside of an application. And as you can see here, what we have inside of this is that we basically, in this little class we have, it's called the UI class, we have inside of here um, a console write line which will enter a person says enter your name it'll appear on the screen it will next will say read console read line it'll accept anything that's input on the next line as input to the system and then it'll display right line your name is that's what it's going to do so let's take a look at how this works okay just the way it is so if you see it says enter your name right and then what we're going to say, well, my name is Larry. It's just enter Larry. I'll hit enter. Then it comes up and says, your name is Larry. It, well, man, no, it doesn't. It just says, your name is. What happened is that since we didn't declare a variable, we don't have uh, any data to process. Okay? So we need to declare a variable here. So let's take a look at it. And the first thing we want to do is determine the type of data that's going to be coming in. Since it's a name, we know we want a name coming in. What I, we want to do is call it, declare this a string, as a string data type, okay? And then we're going to give it a name, and we're just going to call it name, okay? Now, the next thing is, is then it says enter your name, console write line. Now we have to do is be able to use that, okay? Well, if re read line is reading the next line where you're entering, we have to put re whatever comes in read line into name. So what we're going to do is just simply come down here, and type a name, okay? And we're going to use an equal sign. And that just means whatever comes in read line, put into the name variable. 
So what we've done is, in fact, is created something that captures the user input and puts it into something, a variable, that we can utilize the process. So it'll capture it, but when we want to display it, we have to add it to the string that's down inside of here. So let's just add it inside of here. We'll do a space. We'll do a plus sign. Keep this simple. So we're going to do a plus sign and just say name. All right? So it knows that it's what it's going to be doing here is it's going to basically say console write line enter your name read line whatever is capturing read line goes into the name variable and then when you the next line says print out write line your name is and it'll give the name there okay all right so like that all right so let's run this and see what happens Enter your name. I'm going to say Larry. Okay. Hit enter. Your name is Larry. It worked fine. So that's why we utilize variables. And we give it a data type to understand basically what classification is it and how is it going to be used within applications.